Hello my beautiful friends, welcome to another video. This week we are focusing on micro habits, working out and getting back on track after a few days off. But first, if you're new, let's get you caught up. Hi, my name is Stevie and I share videos about weight loss, but I'm not your ordinary weight loss girly. I'm a killer whale. Mm. I share all the sides of weight loss while living a balanced life. You won't see fat diets, endless cardio, or toxic positivity here. It's a whole new world. What you will see is a 30-something full-time employed career woman just trying to be healthy inside and out. To get you caught up, the last few years I've been on the struggle bus. In 2018, I lost over 70 pounds through keto, but gained a pretty bad eating disorder. Between 2020 and 2023, I struggled with yo-yo dieting and binge eating. Honestly, I hated myself. I spent all of 2022 and some of 2023 unlearning and relearning how to let myself enjoy food and be happy. Since June of 2023, I've documented getting over my gym anxieties, eating healthier, and being kind to myself. I went from being too anxious to set foot inside of a gym to deadlifting over 150 pounds. If any of this interests you, I invite you to subscribe and keep watching. Oh, and if you could hit that thumbs up button real quick, that'd be fantastic. Thanks. I left most of this workout unedited because I want you to be able to feel what it looks and sounds like to be in a gym. All right, so today our main focus is going to be chest and back. My knee is still really messed up, so not doing much there. Just trying to get in, get out. Feeling really good today though. Shred is over. It's time to build some muscle. So we're gonna start with a uh, bench press. Nothing on the bar right now. And then we'll go from there. This is exactly what I'm talking about uh, when I mean unedited. I left these awkward little moments in because these are the moments where I feel most self-conscious. And I wanted to point out that one, no one is watching me. And two, it's okay to adjust yourself. It's okay not to be perfect. It's okay to not know what you're doing. The main thing is to just get out there and figure it out. All right, from there, we're gonna put some 25s on. I'm maybe some 10s. I'm gonna take a moment and remind you that please do not take any of this workout as a tutorial because I am still very much a beginner and learning how to use equipment correctly. Chest press are still like a really new exercise for me. So I'm not like putting a bunch of weight on right now. I just wanna be comfortable with the bar. Guess what I'm listening to? Comment down below. If you know, you know. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue. Now we're gonna put 25s on. That was still pretty easy. I'm thinking about, so some of you guys know about like the gym right by my house that's like two minutes away. I'm thinking about going there on the weekends instead of here. Like here's not open on Sunday. And I'm also thinking about like starting to go to the gym more than once a day. Like one time for cardio, one time for lifting. Cause I don't have enough time to do it in one go. So it's something I've been thinking about. So this is gonna be my PR. We're at 95 pounds and I had pancakes for breakfast, so we should be good. That's pretty awesome. I feel pretty strong right now. Um, three, I'm gonna do three reps right now. That's pretty heavy. Really heavy. 
Oh, let's see. While I'm resting, um, I, I wanted to talk to you guys about something, but I don't remember what it was. So this morning we went to Cracker Barrel. Um, I had pancakes and eggs. Actually, no, I didn't eat eggs. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be honest. Hash brown casserole, some hams, some bacon, and last, and then last night we did go out and I had what steak and potatoes. But I'm right here back at the gym, and uh, I don't feel any guilt about it. I feel nothing. It's pretty freeing, actually. I got that five pound plate. I'm gonna go down in weights just because I don't have a spotter and I want to do more reps. It's pretty cool to know that I can do 95 pounds. You got that five pound plate? Don't knock it. My favorite part about this gym is the view from the bench press. Look, this is my view. You can't beat it. All right, the next thing. <sighs> Lateral raises, which I suck at. So I think I started um, a week ago, maybe two weeks ago with 30s. We're getting closer and closer to having three reps of eight solid reps with three sets. So this is my third set. We'll see how we go. But I need my music. Give me a second. I can't do this without music. All right, now we're good. my current view.
All right, we are at 100 pounds. 70 pounds was warm up. Heart rate is 138. We have burned 368 calories. We're going on 48 minutes. And surprisingly, it's really dead today. Hmm, interesting. Maybe because the weather's nice. Okay, did three sets at 100. I'm gonna try 130. See how many I can pump out. It's gonna be PR. Pancakes for breakfast. Main PRs in the gym. Where should I set you guys? Perfect. And I don't mean protein pancakes. I mean the real deal. Cracker barrel pancakes. Whew, okay, here we go. Dang it, stop like right here. Very close. I think that's gonna wrap up our gym session today. We've been here for 52 minutes. Um, I think I might close out with some dips and be done. Get this Saturday on. It might not seem very impressive, but I am super proud proud of these dips because when I started I couldn't even do one and now I can do like a set of three or four and um, each time I'm getting lower and lower and I just I feel like this is one of the easiest exercises I can tell if I'm getting stronger or not and then I decided to try to do a pull up and I'm getting closer like I went up further than I have ever have it was very cool and I was very excited. And that just kind of wraps up an average day at the gym on a Saturday. Well, hello. I just finished redoing my thumbnail for today's video. It's Sunday. And I had to link the 300 subscriber video, so I watched it real quick. It's only seven and a half minutes long. And my heart. I have such warm, fuzzy feelings right now. It has 99 views. But you know what? I feel like it was a really good little vlog. I kind of want to get back to filming a little bit like that. I think I get so caught up in the day-to-day -day things that I, I stop. Like, I'm just like, oh, I gotta film this, I gotta film this. But I don't stop and be creative, and that's the part of YouTube that I fell in love with, is being creative, and I felt like, like, I feel like I want to get back to that just a little bit you know less talking I talk too much I'm sorry I talk too much like I talk so much I don't I don't want to talk that much I want to show you guys more and that's my goal this week I mean I am the main character in my own story so I have an entire YouTube channel <laughs> I still feel weird saying that oh I'm such a nerd
it is time. It is time for dinner. We're having pulled pork. I had it going in the crock pot because it's a gym day. We gotta, we gotta be prepared. We gotta make time. And if you're like, I don't have time to cook and go to the gym, girl, get that crock pot out. Plan, you got this. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta plan. I believe in you, you can do it. If I could do it, you could do it. Honestly, you'd probably do it better if you actually tried. I'm not saying that you're not trying, but like, let's say you're not trying at all, like zero trying. If you tried, you'd probably do it better than me. Okay, we are making fresh fries for dinner. Cause we're having pulled pork, like I said, before my battery died. The table, you know, it's 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 not looking horrible. It's been worse. Could be better. Could definitely has been worse. This is what it looks like. Table check. Okay. We're it's okay. And if you're new to this channel and you're thinking, why would she ever show that? Because I show the ugly side of YouTube. No, that that's not right. I show the I show all the things that no one else shows because I want to help you guys accomplish your goals and me being a fake person it's not gonna help it's gonna make you feel bad I'm not here for it what I am here for you look at my tater it's okay we can cut that out what I am here for is this french fry cutter amazing if you're interested in this potato cutter i have it linked down below i actually i don't think i make any money off of youtube or off of those amazon links anymore because i didn't have enough sales or whatever for 90 days so i'm not getting anything i don't think i could always renew it though we'll see seriously the best part of waking up is vultures in your cup. Yeah. Best way to make french fries. Hands down. I've tried many different ways. Best way. So, how are you today? Oh, we're zoomed in a little bit. One second. Oh, you wrong way. Okay. How are you today? You having a good day? I had a decent day. I can't complain, honestly. It was chill. Would recommend I'd do this day again. So, I've been thinking. And you're probably like, uh-oh, oh, she's been thinking. I'm, I know some of y'all think it's stupid that I have two gym memberships. But, when you go to the gym, as much as I do, for different things, sometimes you need multiple gyms for multiple reasons. My gym that I go to is not open on Sundays. I wish it was, but it's not. Also, the weight area is not that big. It, it's sufficient, but it could be bigger. I have a Planet Fitness membership, but like, it's always busy. And, no shade to Planet Fitness. Cause I, I, you know, I don't mind Planet Fitness. There's a place and time. Whenever I go there, I get a pretty good workout because it feels like home, you know? It feels chill. But whenever I make any sort of content there, people can like automatically swipe because it's at Planet Fitness. And unfortunately, Planet Fitness like, I, I think it's rude. Planet Fitness is great. But there's a gym. Literally two to five minutes, depending on traffic, from my house. That's 24 access with a, with a key fob. I'm going to go to that gym. That's going to be my second gym. And I need a second gym because here, listen. I film a lot, right? I can't just have the one here. Because it doesn't have a pool, it doesn't have the, the classes that Caitlin likes to take, it doesn't have a sauna, it doesn't check all the boxes. If it was open on Sunday, I'd seriously consider just having that membership. But still, the hours, the hours are limited. They're like normal business hours. They close at like 8. During breaks, I'm a night owl. I'd like a good like 9 o'clock, 11 p.m. workout on the summers. There is nothing better than a joy ride with your windows down, going to the gym in the middle of the summer at like nine o'clock at night. Ugh. Mwah. That's the kind of summer I'm looking forward to. But I can't do that at my gym. 
So we're gonna get the one that's not too far away, get rid of Planet Fitness, and then we'll be set with gyms. I think it has a hack squat machine. It has a bunch of different machines that my gym doesn't have. You know, and listen, going to the gym, this is my part-time job. That's how I view it at least. Losing weight is literally my part-time job right now. And guys, let me tell you, girls, ladies, gents, she's, he's, they's, them's, however you, uh, you know, identify. I am so blessed that losing weight is my part-time job. You have given me zero excuses to not accomplishment. You gave that to me. And I appreciate all of you for doing that for me. You guys have given me such a gift. Every view you guys give me on this channel is a, little, a tiny little bit of money in my pocket and that helps so much because it's almost like I owe this weight loss to you guys. And listen, I'm losing weight for my own volition. Is that a word, volition? I'll have to ask Caitlin when she gets back. But having you behind that screen, man, it's such a motivator. I, thank you. I am very, very conscious about money, very motivated by money because I grew up in poverty. So money is very much a motivator to me. And if me losing weight means more success on YouTube, more money, like, because I'm pretty much tapped out with teaching. That is such a huge motivator. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to get more of the money because I want to save for retirement. I wanna pay off my student loans. I would love to quit teaching one day. Maybe I'll fall back in love with teaching. Teaching's not been too bad. It's all about your mindset, I guess. But you guys have just, you have given me a gift that I can never repay you guys. Like, thank you so much. It means so much to me that you guys tune in every single week to see how I'm doing. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you guys enough. You push me to be the best version of myself. You push me to grow and to, I don't know, shrink. <laughs> um, I just so grateful for you guys. I thank God every single day for you guys, every single one of you. Every 1595 of you, I think I'm at. Let's check. I might have more, who knows? Yes, 1595 of you. I thank God for you guys every single day because you make me in to the person I've always dreamt of being my entire life. I have this very distinct vision and I've had this distinct vision since probably a teenager. I've always viewed myself as a super athletic person with an athletic build and you guys are giving that to me. Thank you so much. And I know you're probably saying, but Stevie, you're doing the work. Yeah, of course I'm doing the work. You guys can't lose this weight for me. But like you are the ones pushing me. You're the ones motivating me. You're the ones keeping me accountable. You're the ones that are giving me the, such an amazing gift of, of making this a, a legit like source of money now. And I just, I, I am just so grateful. I cannot tell you, <laughs> I could go on forever how grateful I am, but I want to stop because you're probably like, oh my God, get over yourself. I'm just, yeah, okay, dinner. <laughs> okay, so I talk about 1% better every day, getting a little tiny bit better in micro habits, right? A micro habit that I've been trying to get myself into is every single day, pick my clothes up out of this room because honestly, that's the reason why this room is always a mess. I just don't put my clothes away or I just like fling them everywhere because I just want to get them off from the day. So dinner, the fries are going right now and I'm going to hang my clothes up for the day and then also move Butch's blankets around. He, oh, <laughs> This is his room when we're gone. Like he doesn't have a crate. He has a room because he is a spoiled little boy. I would love to have one of those dogs that you could just let roam around and they don't get into any anything. That is neither of these dogs. <laughs> and I don't think, well, for 
for Butch, definitely. He will never be that dog. Never. I could see Simon when he, he gets older. I could see him being that dog. He doesn't, as long as we keep everything picked up and he has appropriate toys, he really doesn't go looking for things or going straight to things. Butch knows exactly where the trash can is, where the pantry is, where the cat food is, where the cat litter boxes are. And if he gets out, he makes a beeline to one of those and plants his feet. So this 110 pound Rottweiler digs his feet into the ground and you're trying to yank him out of the garbage. And then once you do that, you gotta really hold on tight or he'll try to break away and then he'll run downstairs to the cat box. And then when you get him from there and he'll run back upstairs, if you're not holding on to him, he'll go to the freaking cat food. So Butch is a menace. I love him. He's such a good boy. Unless he gets out <laughs> of the living room, then he is a little troublemaker. I've been doing this habit for, I don't know, three days now. And I think it's helping. I need to get the donation clothes out of here. That would help a lot. I think when we go to the gym, I might just throw them in my truck. So they're one step closer. And then this weekend, I think I'm gonna clean up my desk area. The problem is I don't have, I don't have a good organizational system in this room. Maybe we should accomplish that this weekend. But this is a really good example of a micro habit because I think a lot of people, when they're like, I need to keep this room clean, they would be like, I'm going to pick this room up every single day, or I'm gonna only pick this room up on Saturdays, but by then it's so full of clothes that it's overwhelming. So I looked at the problem. I figured out what the, the biggest part of the problem was, why this room doesn't stay clean. It's because I throw my clothes everywhere. So I only focus on the clothes. That's it. I don't look at my desk. I don't look at the floor unless there's clothes there, you know? I don't look at like the garbage. If there's any garbage, there's not but sometimes Butch will find something. I don't know where he finds these things, but he does. And voila, there you go. And that is how you do that. Clothes are picked up, dinner is done, pulled pork, a nice sweet kale salad, and some fresh fries, and that's dinner. And a tall glass of water because I'm behind on my water today. I'm on the struggle bus today, I almost forgot. And I haven't even filmed today, happy Thursday. I did a thing. I didn't want to cook. There were dishes. We don't really have any vegetables. Just finding more excuses, but uh, <laughs> I got Panera. I got the apple salad. I don't remember the Fiji apple salad. Never had this before. And with um, chicken on it. And then a steak and arugula. That's not it. Oh, there's other ones. This is a uh, roasted turkey bacon BLT. I've never had this before. I'm gonna give ourselves a little tasty wasty here. Wow, cringe, I'm sorry. I'm cringing over here. Not bad. The bread's a little soggy. Oh, that's some thick turkey in there. We're gonna go to the gym, because it's Thursday. And uh, did they put blue cheese? There's blue cheese on this? Gross. Oh, oh well, I'm gonna live with it. It's the decisions I've made. Blue cheese is gross. Just gonna get my daily dose of penicillin, I guess. Has a red, varro, a vinegar rat dressing on it. Some apple chips, chicken, blue cheese, tomatoes, two uh, two rings of onion, and like half a pecan. <laughs> it eats. Good morning, happy Friday. We made it through another week unscathed. It was a decent week. It was a long week. Weighed myself this morning. I am back down to 289 point. I don't know what. I knew I'd go up this week just because like I had Cracker Barrel this weekend and we went to that restaurant even though I had steak and like potatoes. It's very salty. So I figured, you know, there would be a little spike, but we're, we're going back down. And that is exactly what I thought would happen. I haven't talked to you guys this much this week. 
And like, I feel like there's a lot of things that I, I thought about talking to you guys about. It's raining. Cold. It's like 54. So I didn't bring a jacket, but now I'm cold. Well, isn't it the consequences of my own actions rearing its ugly head? Uh, breakfast, I had yogurt and raspberries and a little bit of honey. No cereal today because Butch got out of his room last night while we were at the gym and he probably ate over $100 worth of food. Protein cereal, gone. Quest chips, gone. The two bags of legendary chips I had left, gone. Rice cakes, gone. Chocolate chips, gone. I know, I know. He also got into cocoa powder. He didn't eat much of it though, thank God. But you know what? He, it didn't even phase him. Like his stomach was going, but that was it. He, he had bad gas. That's it. He drank a lot of water too. I'm sure I'm gonna go home to a pile of poo though in his room. He ate so much food. It's all gone. Yeast gone. <sighs> now I can't make that bread I wanted to make. So grocery haul is probably gonna be in our future because I have a lot of groceries I have to replace now. Ooh, ooh I should probably figure out what I'm gonna eat next week. I need a plan. I've been planning content or trying to plan content, but I cannot organize my brain in a way to like, I don't know, do it. I have to figure it out. I gotta, I'll be better. I'll figure it out. How many times can I say that? Oh, here's a thought I've had. So I had, oh, I had Culver's this week too. Did I show you guys? It was during the sip day. We talked about it, I think. And I could have left that. I don't think I like fast food anymore. Like I really, really, really don't. It makes me feel gross. It doesn't taste good. I'm kind of like, why, do, why was I addicted to this? This is disgusting. <laughs> I'd rather go make french fries at home and eat frozen chicken strips in the air fryer than this at chicken strips and they have good chicken strips but I it was just like ew the fries I love french fries and the last time I've had french fries anywhere all I taste is the nasty grease that they cook them in oh I also had Wendy's at some point this week too yeah see it's been I had a little moment like not all, all in the same day or whatever but I've definitely it's definitely been like a ah! now I'm back I'm fine Right, I've, I've been back at it for like three days now and I dropped back down. So that's proof to you if you go off the rails a little bit and you just like eat whatever, get back on track soon enough, it's not gonna, it's not gonna impact you. You didn't ruin anything. I could have lost more weight this week, but, eh, or not gaining weight was the real winner this week. Also, it made me realize how much I despise fast food. I do not like fast food. Now, like going out to a restaurant, if I'm, I like going out to the rest a restaurant as long as I'm not eating like burger and fries. And what stinks is my brain still thinks I like burger and fries. So I'm like, ooh, burger and fries or chicken tenders and fries. And I get them and I'm like, ew, gross. This is disgusting. It's so much grease. I didn't get to my mother. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I know she's gonna watch this. I'm getting old. I feel old. Kid pointed out a big old gray hair in my head the other day. Also, I'm getting a cold. I've been really good about keeping it at bay. Literally everyone around me has been sick and I've been chugging my water. So I am going to do a short, um, I don't know if it's gonna be on shorts. It's gonna be reels. I don't know how I feel about shorts. I haven't figured out shorts yet. There has to be a nice size. I feel like shorts is the cesspool of the internet. My channel grows so much if I hit the right audience very quickly. But man, it's really hard to get the right audience. Um, so I haven't figured out shorts yet, but Instagram reels. So I'm gonna do a series of shorts on um, like the top 10 excuses why people don't lose weight. 
and I'm gonna debunk them and show you how to work around them in small, tiny little habit changes. I also would like to say I've been cleaning my room, picking up my clothes every single day, and there's no clothes anywhere in my room right now. It's beautiful. It's much nicer already. I will say though, Butch has now resorted to finding things in things. He's learned how to open drawers. He's been shredding paper instead of throwing my clothes around when he's grumpy. I think we just need to exercise him more. Working out takes a lot of time out of our evening and I feel really bad when we go three days a week. We used to go two days a week, but we've been going three days a week in the, in the week. And I don't think we should do that anymore because both of our dogs, I've noticed some behavior changes for sure. And it's not fair to them. That's why we go all the weekends. It is like 10 o'clock. I woke up at like 8.30, which is unlike me. My body kind of feels like trash. My joints feel achy. My left knee is always just feeling ugh. I have been resting it, you know, I don't really kick when I swim, I kind of, like I kick a little bit sometimes, but I am definitely very, like very cognizant of my knee. I ice it every day, I use the red light therapy thing on it every day, and I just really gotta get in to like a sports medicine doctor I think at this point. I'm feeling super just groggy today. I sat on the couch for like two hours and I had a very hard time getting myself off said couch. And I'm gonna share you, share with you the thought process getting myself off the couch because I've gotten much better at it. First things first, I analyzed why I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling super just, um, Exhausted, just exhausted. But sometimes I've realized when I'm dehydrated, I feel this way. So, well one, I need to get to the gym I wanna go to before noon, cause it closes at, well it doesn't close at noon, it doesn't ever close. But the staff leave at noon and I need to sign up. So that's one motivator. Second motivator is telling myself, get up and drink the water. It's gonna make you feel better. You got stuff to do today. It's my mama's birthday. I made it through the big, container of this decided to try mango danielle i don't know if you're gonna watch this but um mango it's not it now it just tastes like sour earth instead of like i don't know berry earth <laughs> there's like a sourness to it mm. there's one other flavor which is strawberry kiwi and i think i'm gonna try that next but i do feel like this gives me more energy throughout the day i really do so I haven't taken it yet today. And it's like 10 o'clock and I can't seem to master the lid. How is this lid so hard for me? And of course creatine, I'm almost out. So this is the um, Body Tech brand from Vitamin Shop. It's like their store brand. It was pretty affordable. I think this might've been like 30 or $40 for like 102 servings. So this has lasted me months. And I think that part of the reason my body recomp has been so amazing is this stuff. Uh, this stuff promotes muscle growth and I think the biggest thing when we're in a calorie deficit is that we're promoting muscle growth and trying to get our, our bodies to burn fat instead of the muscle which a lot of people have a hard time with but with my high protein diet and then using this every every single day it doesn't matter if I'm working out or not I just take it with my greens every morning it's flavorless I think this is like those two things are the reason why my body recomp is just so I got this, I already took my medicine for the day. I'm gonna um, drink this and then I'm gonna take a shower real quick because I want to do a workout today with my hair down, like for content purposes, short pur purposes, but I need to allow it to dry. Bottoms up. I promise you, I would not be drinking this if I didn't think it made a difference. Even the smell. Danielle, I don't understand why you like mango. It's just not my flavor profile, I guess. Oh, I did not enjoy that. Ugh. I weighed myself yesterday. I don't know if I told you guys, but I was back down to 289. But I have to wrap this video up here because, well, I have to edit it. But until next time, friends, be kind to yourself. Bye.